Hi guys, good to have you all back. What is on my desk today? Well, washi tapes, paper pads. Yeah, what is the plan? I want to do a beginner friendly project for two reasons. One, it's going to be a sort of a simple project to make. Yeah, and also we are going to use up cheap stuff. Yeah, you can do this with fancy smancy stuff. You don't have to be a beginner, guys. But I want to use up my cheap stuff. And, um, you know, it's going to be a simple one. Okay, uh, I have washi tapes. Lots of them. I have paper pads. Lots of them. You do as well. Don't tell me you don't. If you don't, please lie to me. Make me feel better. So I want to use up, you know, the cheap stuff that we buy in the beginning when we start this paper crafting junk journaling journey. And and I bought them everywhere, supermarkets, uh, Action, your sort of Dollar Tree, uh, AliExpress, any place that I could uh, get my hands on some cheap sort of non-branded um, uh, craft supplies. Yeah, so all of this, all of this. What are we making? Well, let me show you. We are making... Triple or quadruple pockets, depending on how you use them. I'm going to show you uh, the different sizes that I have made. I've made one from 4x4, four four, from 6x6, six six, from a random size. It's a 6x8. Six you can use any size you want, lobbies. And this is from an 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah? Um, three pockets. One, two, three pockets. This is all from one sheet of paper. Um, this is sort of a, let's call it a standalone. You can fill this up with whatever you want, loves. Uh, uh, cards, tags, ephemera pieces, money, whatever you want. And have it as a gift in Happy Mail for birthday, Easter, Christmas. You know, what have you. But you could also use this in a journal. Put it in a pocket in a journal. So you have pockets within a pocket if you want to. Or glue it on a journal page. Yeah, if you're going to glue it on, glue it here and here. Or here and here. What have you. As long as it has an opening on the top. So it will be a top loading pocket. Or on the side for a side loading pocket. Or don't glue these two parts and have it as a tuck. So in that case you have four pockets. So three or four pockets from one sheet of single sided paper using washi. Yeah. Use any paper that you have. If you're really just starting out guys. And uh, you only have paper and glue. It'll work. Just a book page. Try it with a book page. But I'm using up my stash. Now, let me show you the supplies that we are using for today. Now, 90% of what's on my desk is cheap stuff. 10% uh, is not the cheap stuff. Because you don't need to use the cheap stuff, guys. No. I'm using uh, washi tapes in all different sizes. Well, starting from a uh, half an inch. I wouldn't recommend using the smaller ones, you know, the quarter inch ones. Or these ones, these uh, are smaller. This is probably a quarter inch. So, um, half an inch, an inch, one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch. You can even use this if you wanted to. So, I'm using uh, washi tapes, yeah? If you have the very cheap washi tape, you need to have glue. Because it wouldn't stick. It won't stick. So, the washi tapes, yes. And then, um, single-sided papers, now, if you don't have single-sided papers, you only have double-sided papers, you don't need the washi tapes. No, uh, it's going to be self-explanatory when I start folding them. So I have some 4x4s, some 6x6s, six six, uh, and I have some 8x8s. Eight eight. Now, I don't have very cheap 8x8s. Eight eight. I do, however, have these two from Studio Light. Lovely designs on them, but single-sided. I honestly don't know how to use single sided ones because I always do some folding and flipping and such so one of the sides will definitely always be white if you don't mind uh, stuff being white you know you don't need to decorate it but I'm going to decorate it so I'm going to use some a little bit more expensive um, 8 by 8s but if you don't have any paper pads just cut out a piece of book page encyclopedia, magazine something with a lovely image yeah Use this. For tools, uh, I'm going to need a bone folder. You don't need a bone folder. I need scissors. I have taken out my ugly scissors because I just want to cut a piece of washi tape. 
And uh, for this, I'm using uh, scissors that are already sticky. So your sticky scissors, <laughs> let's call them sticky scissors. And you can use the handle of your scissors or butter knife to uh, fold, make some sharp folds. Because we do need to make some sharp folds. Uh, and then you need glue. I'm going to use some glue stick and I'm going to use some um, barely art. You don't even need to use this uh, glue, guys. Something that will make a small line of glue. Yeah? And a pencil, because I want to mark something. That's basically it, yeah, for the bases. Okay, now for the decorating, I'm probably going to take out some fancy smancy stuff. I'm sorry, but you can use to use whatever you want, guys. I, I think I want to do a little bit of inking, a little bit of stamping, some labels, some post stamp. You know, the usual, my bits and bobs, yeah? So the basis is piece of paper, glue, piece of paper and glue. <laughs> that's That's it. Okay, guys, let's start um, taking out some beautiful pieces of paper. I'm going to make a couple of them and match them with some of the washi tapes. I am starting with a 6x6 one. This is a paper pad that uh, was originally from Action. I didn't buy this one at Action. I bought it in a thrift shop for 75 cents. It wasn't that much more expensive at Action, I can tell you. Probably it was like 1 euro and 19 cents or something like it. Um, I love the papers in here. I think I want to do... Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay. Now I want to match this with some lovely washi tapes. Yeah. Mushrooms. This is going to be a fall type of... I think it's going to be a little bit more fall type. We could do this one, this one. Now... For this size, for 6x6, six six, I would recommend a tape that is a little bit wider than half an inch. Yeah, just, you know, like a little bit over half an inch. Do I have one of those? Yeah, like something like this. That is actually three quarters of an inch. Yeah, the bigger your piece of paper is, I would recommend the, the wider the, the washi roll is. This is also going to be gorgeous. You can have them uh, bigger, guys, because we can cut them down as well. I think this is nice. This is nice. These two? We're going to do two? You don't even need uh, multiple ones. No. Ooh. No. No. These are actually sort of my nicer ones. <laughs> and these are the ones that I really never use. But will look lovely on this one. With a little bit of the gold foiling. Oh, I'm going to take out these three. Yeah. So washi tapes. Washi tapes. Piece of paper. Okay. We're going to do some folding. You don't even need measurements, guys. You don't need the measurements. What are we going to do? I'm going to fold it in half. We're going to fold it in half. Yeah. There we go. For this, I am going to use my bone folder. Now, this project, guys, is going to be open and closed, open and closed. So, really score very, very well. Um, so, it will sort of, when you open it up and you want to close it up again, it will fold by itself. Does that make any sense? Well, um, it will, it will. And then you're going to fold it in again. So, we're going to make uh, a new sort of square. We're going to fold it in four. See? Four. Now... This is non-directional paper. I would recommend non-directional paper because some will be flipped here and here and there. But honestly, guys, just try it out with a piece of paper. Okay, um, I'm going to fold it open again. There we go. Yeah, see, we have four squares. I'm going to take the top left corner and I'm going to fold this all the way to the middle. Following this line and following the line underneath. Yeah. Now to make it a little bit easier on yourself, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, put a dot of glue here, and just glue it down. Yeah. Okay. This is going to look confusing, but it's not. Guys, just fold it in again. Fold it in again. See? We made our first pocket. We made our first pocket. That's great. So this is going to be the second pocket. So I'm just going to do this too. Yeah. The second pocket. Do I have uh, like the prototype? Yes. The second pocket needs to be folded. Um, well, like yay much. 
I always eyeball this, guys. I don't do anything that's really sort of measuring. Um, but this is white. Yes, that's why we're going to put on washi tape here. So I'm taking out my pencil. And I'm just drawing a line carefully over here. Yeah? Okay. So now we're folding it open again. Okay. So this needs to be folded to the inside. Yeah, but not on this line, a little bit further. So what I want to do is put some washi tape here. Put some lovely washi tape. I'm going to use this with the, oh no, this one with the gold on it. This actually came from Action years ago. We want it, yay much. Have it a little bit longer than, um, than the piece of paper, guys. Yes, it needs to overlap. So... I am sort of going to follow this line. However, I'm going to uh, put it on a little bit before the line. Just, you know, like a couple of millimeters. Do have it on straight. This is the, the rubbish washi tape. So I'm just going to put down glue. Yeah. Do have it straight, loves. Have it straight. See? Yeah. It's going to stick out. But that's okay. We have scissors. You can cut it off completely. I'm just going to cut off sort of the corners. Yeah, because I also want to overlap it. Go away, tape. I just want to fold it over. There you go. Here and here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to fold it in again. See? Ooh, lovely. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make a fold here. So I'm going to fold it back on itself. Pocket number two. One, two. Yeah. We need the last pocket. This one. So this is going to be pocket number three. So I'm going to put down three here. What I'm actually going to do is sort of eyeball it, guys. This is the best way to do it. Just sort of try to tuck it in, fold it in. See, have it straight. Don't have it like crooked like so. Have it straight. Try to have it straight and in a sort of an equal amount here. You could do measuring, but let's not. Let's not do measuring. Let's just do this. Fold it in. There you go. I am going to glue it down. See, it's a little bit confusing because you have to fold it open and, and close again and open and close again. But if the folds are really, really, if you uh, um, burnish it really, really well, it will fold back on itself again and again. So now we just need some tape here. I'm going to use the same tape. Don't worry, guys, we're going to make lots more. So if you're not following at the moment, no worries. So I'm just going to put this. This is way too much tape. Here and here. Let's see. Does it cover everything? Yes. You did not put glue on. I know. I'm just going to fold it over and fold it over. It leaves a nicer edge anyway. There, there, there. Well, we made our first pocket. There's a little bit of white here showing. Oh, you already glued it down. Smart. <laughs> I'm going to fold it a little bit further. Also, you could ink it a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. Tada. Done. Doesn't need any inking, guys. If you don't have ink, don't use ink. It'll be fine. There you go. Well, then you have to do this as well. Okay. Now you decide. Yeah. Do you want your pocket this way? Or you want your pocket this way. Decide. Yeah. I think I want to have my pockets um, this way. So I'm going to take out my glue. Yeah. And I'm I'm not gluing this part. Because I really want to have um, a little bit more room sticking out. But you could glue this. You could glue this. This. And this. I am just gluing this part on the bottom. There you go. And this part over here. Yeah. That leaves for a little bit more room here. So, voila. Your first 6x6. Six six. Using paper, 
washi tape. Let's do a 4x4. So this is the smaller one. For this you can um, use the smaller tape. Yeah, the a half an inch tape. So I'm going to use this tape, I think. It looks lovely. Uh, same principle again, guys. So try to follow me along. And this is the easiest part. Just fold it in half. Yeah. And fold it in half again. So here's one. Opening it up. Folding it in half again. So we have four equal parts. That's if you're using a, a square, guys. If you're not using a square, that's okay. Same principle, but this will be taller, yeah? Okay, uh, the top left one. I'm just folding it towards the middle, following both of the lines, yeah? Gluing it down. I lost my cap, so I, um, I keep my glue like this it in and then put it on its head <laughs> yeah uh, let's see this one and this one did we do it right we did uh second one two i'm just gonna do this there we go yeah did we do it right yeah we did okay opening it up again now i want to put the tape here There we go. Snip off a little bit here and a little bit here. Yeah, folding it back. Tape, listen to me. You need to go. There we go. Okay, so we need to make the next um, sort of pocket, but you could also fold um, this piece um, a little bit shorter, yes? So you could actually fold the washi tape in a bit. See, no worries, no worries at all. Like so. I think the proportions will be better. So you do not need to follow the line of the washi tape if you don't want to. No. Follow your own line. And maybe you want to have them very irregular. Different sizes. Yeah. Okay. Next pocket. Now, and this one. This one is probably the trickiest, guys. Because uh, you need to fold it in on itself. You don't have to. You could also do sort of eyeball this. If you want to. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah, just eyeball it. Oops. Come on, glue. There you go. Last piece of tape. It's lovely with the flowers. Tiny piece, probably again too long, way too long. Put it in the corner, fold it in. Does everything cover everything? Yes. I'm just gonna fold it over. So start out in the beginning when you do the four folds, yes, the four squares, with very sharp folds. Because then if you have to flip it open and close and open and close, it will sort of close on itself. Yeah. Okay, how do we want this? What did we do the last one? So I'm going to do it this side, yeah? This way. So let's take out my glue. Putting glue here and here. Sada, don't glue the tops, love. If you glue the tops, yeah, this will be very small openings. You could put glue here if you want to. Just a lovely tiny little pocket. Yeah cute right yeah want to make a big one let's make a big one i found this one with wooden planks in this pack this is all sort of cuties and i didn't want to do any pinks and and such and the green was off it was just well it could have it could have worked i want them sort of all matched together guys so yeah i found i found this one so i'm using this one 
Uh, this is from uh, Romantic Moments from um, Studio Light. Studio Light, and uh, I've taken out all of these. I don't know yet. It could be a fall one with the lovely mushrooms. As you can tell, these tapes are a little bit wider. So this is one and a quarter inch. Yeah. Uh, but you could also make them uh, with wider washies if you want to. I think this size will work. Now, I don't know about the tape yet. But first, I'm going to fold. This is heavier paper. Was it 150? 170. 170. For papers, guys, I wouldn't recommend anything... Um, uh, heavier than 180 because uh, it will be hard to fold and score and it will be very bulky you could try it you could try it of course but i wouldn't recommend it so here's one yeah and then we're gonna fold this over see it's already very very heavy here's two Okay, folding it open. What are we doing? Yeah, this goes there. Now, there are probably different ways to do this. Um, this is the way I do it. <laughs> this is the way I do it. It'll fall back on itself. Yeah, this is the second one. And I'm, I'm not going to put on two guys. No, what I am going to do is do this yeah so we need washi tape now if you're going to put on small washi tape this is going to be a very small sort of pocket you could do this and then the, the next one going to be bigger and the last one smaller again i want to sort of have them even but there's no need for it um i'm going to do this one i think so i hardly ever use this and it's lovely uh, this is an aliexpress one so absolute rubbish I'm going to do this one if I can take it off this roll. That'll be lovely. I've heard somewhere you could put it in the microwave and for a couple of seconds and then it will work. If you do have cheap washi tapes, guys, use them straight away. Don't hoard them because... You could also throw them away then. Okay, well that sort of worked. Sort of worked. Folding it open, yeah, a little bit below here. These are all uh, sort of old Roman coins or something. Make a bit of this corner and. Snipping off this corner. Oh, well, sticky enough. I think it's going to look lovely. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to fold it in a little bit. Yeah, I think we have enough room. Now, this is very, very heavy paper. Um, so, let's see if it will work. Is it straight? Straight enough, straight enough. I'm going to glue them down, guys. Forgot the big piece. There we go. Just a dot. Just a dot. Okay. Now, for the last one. I really want this to fit. Oh, it will. It will. Um, you can fold it open and fold it in on itself. Or sort of do this. Eyeball it. I know it's confusing, guys, with all the to and fro. <laughs> uh, it is needs to be a little bit wider. Be sure that the last piece, the tape, will fit on it. It will. It will. I'm not going to glue it down yet because I really want to make sure the tape will fit. Yep. 
either it doesn't stick at all or it sticks so much you cannot get it off the roll without it ripping. That's when you use the rubbish tape. But I can tell you I don't need the extra glue. Scooch it in a tiny bit. Yeah. One and two. The size is okay, so I can glue this in. One, two, three, four. Who lovely! I like it. I really like this one. Now, before I glue this down, guys, I am going to um, ink it. Because I really love this one. I'm probably going to use it somewhere. So I'm inking. I'm not inking on the on the tape. I'm just going to do the paper. Yes, and on this part here. Oh, it's lovely. Now, because this is a bigger piece, yeah, um, I'm going to show you what you can do. Uh, also glue this down. Um, this is sort of, no, it's not directional. You can have it like so or like so, whatever you want. I'm going to put glue here. Here's one. Yes. I'm going to put glue here on the bottom. Yeah. And on this piece over here. You could also round the corner on this one. That'd be lovely as well. Oh, it looks great. So, um, eight by eight. I want to make another small one. This is another four by four. I've chosen this piece of paper and this. I think I have never ever used it. Yeah, but this is not sticky at all, but that's okay. Well, just in case you missed it, we're going to fold it in. <laughs> See guys, once you, you well, sticky enough to stick on my hands. Once you make a couple of them, it'll be, become easier. Yeah, folding it in and folding it in again. Make very sharp folds because we need to have it flip in again and in again. Yeah. Okay. Pulling it to the center. Now I made um, at least one video where I made this way, way back in the beginning. Uh, maybe later on another one. But I can't remember anymore. Made so many videos, I don't know all of them by heart. Yeah, okay, pulling it in and in. This is number two. Just gonna draw a line. Very faint one because this is a little bit of see through washi. Okie dokie. Taking off a piece. Put extra glue on. And there we go. I don't even know where I got this one. It could even be Ikea. At <laughs> some, some point I found some um, craft supplies at Ikea. How? I don't know. <laughs> they had some craft supplies. So this could be one of the tapes from Ikea. Oh, it's lovely though. It is. Okay, uh, we need to fold it in, but I'm going to fold it a little bit um, over. Yeah, which means... I want this pocket to be a little bit more shallow. Well, smaller. Yeah. Pulling it back. Does this work for me? It does. Yeah. With some glue. There you go. I 
I really need to make sure with this last one that the tape will fit. So here's gonna sort of astray from the original idea. <laughs> I don't know if I have um, enough room for the tape. Well, I have enough room for the tape, but it needs to cover everything. Yes, it does. See, just in case you could fold this and then the tape isn't wide enough to you. So that's why I did this trick. <laughs> Is it straight? Not at all. Did I make it worse? No, you made it better. Okay. Uh, we made this one this way, right? I'm going to make this one this way. So, I'm taking out Bart. I've got a, a couple of questions, a lot of questions actually lately about my glue dangles. I have a couple of them. I have this one and this one. Um, where did I buy them? I don't buy them. Love these. I make them. So, now people want to know where the videos are. So, I'm going to link those um, below. So, if you want to, if you're wondering how I made this, I'm linking the video where I made them. Well, this one. Um, below guys you can click on it and then see for yourself fantastic yeah okay um, another one of those let's another sort of greenish marbly one from a 6x6 there you go most of the paper pads that I have that are cheap are the 6x6 I only have two uh, 4x4s and uh, all the 8 by 8s are, well, I don't have a lot of them, just a couple. Uh, but most of them are double-sided. So you can make this from double-sided. Yes, then you don't need to use the tape. Just fold them. Just fold them. Okay, there we go. You should know this by heart uh, by now, guys. <laughs> fold it in. Yes. Fold it back. Drawing a line. Oh yeah, tape. What tape are we using? Um, yeah. I want them to sort of match up. Oh, I could do this one. Yeah, that's pretty. It's way too big. Do I have a smaller one of these? Let's have a quick look. In my drawer with the lovely ones. Oh, the iridescent one is so pretty. Do we have enough room then? No, I don't think so. I think it's too small. I'm going to put it on anyway. I'm going to put it on anyway. What am I going to do, guys? I'm going to put it up against the line. Because we need to use as... Oh, come on. Again, AliExpress loves AliExpress. Let's see. Oh, the color is so lovely. I do enjoy this one. Yeah. But it's too close to the edge. I really need to surpass the edge a little bit. Does this work? It does. Flip it, flip it. Yeah. And I'm going to fold it right up until the line. Make sure you don't see any white. Yeah? Yeah, that worked. Please, tape, stay over there. There. Thank you. What did I do? I messed this up. Oh, it'll be okay. Okay, then um, this will be a lot wider, but that's okay. It's going to be irregular shapes. Irregular. So 
So we need to put a piece of tape on the top. doesn't look nice at all does it no it doesn't it doesn't so what am i doing i need bigger tape here do i it's a bit crooked Okay, I'm gonna have it on. Gonna have it on. I would have loved to have this one the same width. It isn't now. It's actually okay. It's actually okay. It's actually okay, love. It's a pretty one. Look, when you move it about, it's like iridescent. Yeah, now you have more space to do some decorating. Okay, I'm gonna keep it as is, guys. Um, this one opened this way, so I'm going to have this one open this way. I am, however, going to close it up. Here and on the bottom. Piece of tape sticking out. There you go. One more of these. Let me see. Last one, I promise. Because I just want to have two of each of them. I have this one again from the Studio Light Pack. It was like a sort of neutralish one. And I think the green will work well. So I have some brown green uh, tones. Now, if you're using heavier paper than 170 grams, I think this was 170, yeah. Um, I would recommend fold it in, fold it open, and fold it in again. Um, because this is already very heavy, yeah. Okay. Putting this here. Is it straight? It is. Glue. Yep. Number two. Again, I'm drawing a very faint line. I already picked out a tape. Now, this is one of my lovely tapes. Uh, this is not AliExpress or whatever. I don't know the brand anymore. But it was an more, a little bit more expensive tape. But I bought a few of them on sale. Like three rolls for five euros. Like these. And you know for five euros. I thought it was a very good deal. There we go. Has some sort of foliage on it. Yeah. Oh I do like it. Oops. There we go. Going to overlap a little bit here and there. Yeah. Does it look nice? It looks amazing. I think I want to put tape on the end again. Are you following guys? I'm hoping you're following. Yes, this is pocket one, pocket two. This will be pocket three and this will be the end piece. So I'm just going to put the tape on the end piece first. And then see how, how far we need to fold it in. 
I'm not gonna do this. I want to have a bit more, a bit more of the, of the foliage on here. There we go. So I'm wasting a little bit of tape, but that's okay. Yeah. So now I'm gonna make this pocket the number three instead of the number two. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, love this one. Very pretty. Gonna do some inking, some light inking and gluing and then let's see if we have some time to uh, to decorate guys yeah we have six um for decorating guys you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you want uh, add some labels poster stamps or do some stamping a fussy cut or what have you i want to do some rub-ons because you know i have some rub-ons i'm gonna start with this one uh, i have a set from stamperia this is called around the world around the world and i want to have this balloon and this on here because this makes sense to me this makes sense to me so i'm just gonna cut this one out they smell so nice <laughs> and i am going to sort of put it on the edge first i'm going to cut this out as well because i want to sort of position it i'm going to overlap them Yeah, so it's going to be here and then, well, you cannot put it all the way to the top, love. This is the highest it is going to get. Okay. I think these robots from Stamperia have very good value for money. They are very, I think they're very affordable. Affordable, Yeah, in the Netherlands, they are around the three euro mark, I believe, and you get two sheets. And they have, they're really good quality. Look at that, and very, very easy. Oh, I already love it. Do we need a balloon? Do we want to ship? I think I want to ship. Or do we want a balloon? No, we want the balloon. And they smell so nice. <laughs> they really do. They smell so nice. Now, I've never layered. I don't think I ever layered Stamperia Robons before. If you have um, the subtitles on, you'll probably see robots or rob robins or whatever. For some reason, YouTube doesn't know what Robons say. It's, it's Robons, not Robins or Robots. Robons. Oh, yeah. Yes. It does need a thing here. Not another uh, Robon, but uh, a label, a small label or something. Let's see. What would do we have? Well, we have a gazillion. And it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. See? All excited now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to do glue stick. Marshall and Ball from Newark. Let's see a little bit more. Isn't it fantastic? Does it need something here? Mm, is there something on here? That could sort of work. No, I'm not going to touch it. I think this is it. Oh, love it. For the other one, I'm using a piece of Around the World. This one. Yes. And then a piece of Sunflower Art. 
I'm going to sort of layer it. I'm going to try to try and layer it. And let's just see how this will work. Yes. They, these do come um, go on very easy. I enjoy them. Yeah. And then this sort of goes... We're going to layer it. Is it going to look good? Of course it's going to look good. Yeah. I might even add uh, another thing. Don't know what, but I might add another thing. What a lovely sunflower. I was just saying, Stamperia, that you do uh, Robin so well. Well, they do it well. I don't do it well. <laughs> this is me. This is all me. Oh, yeah. That looks lovely. Look at this. Yeah, I saw something that says carte postale on somewhere. Yeah, this. More postcard. I just want it. And then fill it with postcards. Will that show up? I'm even going to do it like so. Yes, like so. Rub on sticky. There we go. Well, it's on. So cute. Love them. With this one, I'm using one of Michelle's labels, yes, from the specimen kit. I'm going to use this one from the travel one, and this is from the vintage library um, robins. I had a lot of those left. So I'm going to do this in the background, some scripty bits. Just on the bottom here. Yeah. Hopefully it will sort of show up, hoping. It does. Then I'm going to have this here. Let's sort of gauge where we want it. Yeah. Over here. Flip it over. Now what you could do is have all the lovely labels in here as a gift for someone. Or just put it in the back of your journal. Uh, if you want to use the labels, so put uh, lots of labels in or lots of rub-ons. I'm hoping it'll work because there's a little bit of high difference. Thinking it will. Let's see. Oh, that works perfectly. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Yeah, we have more. I have some smaller ones. I have another 6x6 somewhere. Don't know where it is. Let's do one of the small ones. I have sunflowers. And it. I think it will work perfectly. I'm hoping it will fit. I think, I think it will. Let's just see. Put this here, this here, and this here. Perfectly. Perfectly. There we go. Come 
Come on. Yes. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. This one. Let's see. Um, I want to use some of the library. I have two of the library ones, right? Yes. Oh, I have some snippet thingies left. Ooh, look at that little mousy. Not a lovely book. Happiness. No happiness. Love. No happiness. We don't do happiness. I don't know, actually. Maybe one of the flowers. I have so many. I had some more of the flowers, right? Somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here. Oh, yes. That's a lovely color. But it's too big. Do we have some smaller ones? We have this one. It doesn't work for me. For some reason. I'm just going to put on the mousy. I'm just going to put on the mousy. Do we want something behind the mousy? A little bit of script that says Beethoven. Or positive thinking. We do not want positive thinking. Let's see if I can put on Beethoven. It's not going to fit completely, but we'll see. We'll see. Is it going to be on there? <laughs> Hopefully it will stick because that's the washi tape. I've lost everything, guys. I have a Tina desk at the moment, which means I have everything everywhere. Except where I want it to be. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to do this trick. Yes, because this works as well. Because this is how I did it when I was younger and had these sort of rub-on thingies. And this is how I got the ones from um, Sam Paul to work. Yes, because those were rubbish. Well, they still are rubbish. I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, but I have them and I really wanted to use them. So I tried it with, um, with a pencil and that worked. Oh, that is lovely though. Did it stick on here? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And then we're going to have the mousy. A top of it. Yes, with a splatter. There you go, mousy. Yeah, this is how I used to do it. Just with a pencil. Guess what? Works brilliantly. Oh, cute. Very cute. I have one left, right? This one. How about this big owl here? It's a beautiful blue color, but also have some blue on this one but I think the big Ben is too big or we could have this and then the, the owl on top of it I don't know let's just see let's find out is this too big how does it open here I'm just gonna have it on I am just going to have it on. It doesn't matter which way it goes. Still, no rub on sticky anywhere. Rub on stickies. And I have a gazillion. Oh, well, or it's here. Just right in front of your nose. Oh, honestly, guys, sometimes. Sometimes. Are we going to do the owl on top? I think we are. Without the scroll thingy. Yeah, 
Oh, well, it's on here now. I cannot remove it anymore. It's it's sticking to the, to the layer underneath. Oh, that's okay. We'll lose a little bit of its ear. Oh, but it looks great. Oh, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, does it need any... I'll have to scroll. Where did I put the scroll? I just cut up... Yeah, scroll. Here. I'm just going to put it there. It doesn't really need it, guys, but um, it's a small piece. It will get lost for sure. So I'd rather sort of use it now than find it in the trash. There we go. Love it. Yes, I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. I added another um, label here. Let's look at the end result. My idea was to have them all in the same theme when I finished them. That didn't work. But still, they are lovely and they do sort of match. I'm going to start with this one, probably my favorite one. I just love it. Look at the balloon and yeah. So put in cards, lovies. Put in cards. One, two, three. Have it as a pocket. Then you have four pockets. Great, right? Love it. Love it. The other big one, this one. I added another label there because you know, there was so much room left with the sunflower. Love it. Layering a rub-ons, something that I've never done, but love. Uh, I had a little piece of rub-on left, so rubbed it on. Yeah, with the books. Really works well with the sort of antique um, map. This is actually sort of a map, world map. It's upside down, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so it does work really well. Then I had this one left. It was just lying around, and I put the little ladybug on the sunflowers. Yeah, really cute. Really cute. And then uh, the mouse with uh, Kendall and Beethoven. Just really cute. And um, yeah, these were irregular. Yes, big one, small one, big one, small one. That's, that's how I look at it. It's a big one, small one, big one, small one. Yeah. And I was thinking, I have a label in the exact same color. It is the exact same color. So I did sort of ink around it. And I put another piece there. And, uh, you know, the scroll here really cute really cute guys i hope you really liked it i finished it off with some more fancy stuff but that's not necessary at all use a fuzzy cut use uh, another piece of washi tape however you want to decorate it guys but the principle of the the, the base of the pocket it's very easy and you can use anything and i've used a little bit of washi tape yeah and and some pages i still have enough for a gazillion of these yeah Okay, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again tomorrow. I'm linking below um, the video for the dangle. I might have two of them. So I'm going to link these in case you were wondering, how did you make it? Yeah. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another project. Let's see what I can come up with. Until then, bye, guys.